know there ain't no stopping us. Fly without boarding pass. Couldn't catch me, I'd be moving fast. Call me a shooting star. Let know you are. Flying up in a bar. Wish on a star. Hey there, people of the grid. It's uh, Friday, middle of the afternoon. Our training has wrapped up. And I thought, you know, before I go back to the hotel, I'm just going to come here. It's right across the street from the building I'm at. And uh, they've got a lake out here. So I thought I'd come check it out. Got some walking paths that go like that way. And then they just go, I think they go all the way around the lake. This is a beautiful area. Time to show them who's in charge. I think way down there is uh, downtown Austin. Yeah, this is a nice, wish I had a kayak here. It's actually just about warm enough. You could go out and uh, do a bit of kayaking. All right, so since I'm done for the day, I think I'm gonna run back and get in changed. I'm gonna squeeze in a workout and then I'm done for this week. And uh, then I'll figure out what I'm doing later on tonight. Um, yeah. Met up with a person from the grid. David, good to meet you, David. Thanks for letting me sit in the Tesla. He's got a really nice Model S, great condition. He washes his, which uh, I think I'm gonna start washing mine because they look great when they're clean. And uh, he's got uh, the gray color. I think it was midnight gray or something like that. Nice gray seats. Just, they're such nice cars. You can never get enough of seeing them. They're beautiful cars. So uh, I don't know if it's gonna rain today or not, but uh, it is nice here, it is really nice. I think before I head back to the car, I'm just gonna go for a little bit of a walk, check out this lake space, and then I'll go back, head to the hotel, squeeze in that workout, and uh, figure out what I'm doing for the night. That was a good walk. I was out for about 45 minutes there. So I'm back at the car, heading back to the hotel now. It is a really nice place out here. It's not a warm day today. Today's a cooler day, but uh, still great day to be outside. I'm back at the hotel. Quick pit stop at Starbucks. I thought I'd go over with you guys what I did this morning. We had a bit of a break and during the break, I thought I wanna finish up playing with my Linux server that I deployed in the cloud because the model that a lot of these hosting services providers do is exactly that, is they deploy these servers in the cloud and they give us web space and then they charge us for it. So what I thought I would do was uh, just sort of complete the loop and set up web services on my little server. So here we go. Let's. Uh, Check on my server in the cloud. Um, I'm gonna launch Blink, which is the iOS app that lets me tap into the server. I've got Process Monitor running here. <clears throat> I'll just clear the screen. And let's uh, take a look and see if um, I've got any web services running. So this command, ps-elf, you pipe that through grep to search for HTTPD, which is the, the service for Apache web services. It's not running. So what I'm gonna do is actually start the web service and then we'll go, I guess we'll go edit the web page to change it a bit and see what it looks like. So there, started up the web service. Now, let's take a peek. I created a, just an initial web page. It lives in uh, the var directory under www, HTML. There it is, hello world. And uh, so let's go change that. That way, you know, we'll see that my page is actually changed and rendering itself on the web the way I expect. So I'm gonna use the six editor or Vi, as a lot of people call it. We'll go in and uh, add some text to uh, hello world. So um, welcome to the welcome to the grid. Let's go with that. Uh, 
I'll, you know, I'll do the micro thing later, I think. But yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, first we'll do just welcome to the grid, and then I'll come back and edit it, and you can see that it'll you know update on the website in real time. I'm gonna hide my uh, IP address so that you know I don't expose it to the world because uh, you don't need to know what the IP address is. The next step would be to tie in DNS services, so I could call it like you know grid four dot www.grid4.com or something. Okay, so um, did the edit. Let's uh, let's just make sure that the web server is in fact up and running. Apache's running on my server here. So again, let's check through the process list. There it is, a whole bunch of uh, listeners for web services. So I'm gonna switch over to Safari on my uh, iPad and let's bring up that website. And there it is. Hello world, welcome to the grid, dot, dot, dot. It's exactly what we put in our file. We flip back to the console. I can now uh, go in and let's change that web page. Let's update it in some way just to show you kind of that this is really happening in real time. Welcome to the grid. Um, we will put it on a new line. There we go. And uh, we'll change the font size to heading two level font. This, by the way, what you're looking at, if you don't know, is HTML code. It's very basic, nothing, no coding, no Java, just vanilla HTML. So we'll throw uh, my name in there. That's all you gotta do to update a website, by the way. Now, when we refresh the browser, there we are, Miker. I love that, that is so cool. Um, and this tool that I'm using, uh, Blink, that lets me secure shell into various uh, servers, this is all you need to manage it. And you don't need a lot of bandwidth to manage it either. I'm gonna shut down my web server, and uh, now you can see that it's no longer running on my server. It's not in the uh, top list of processes anyways. It's not running, I know it's not. That's about it, not very complicated. And uh, you know, when you think about it, I think this is pretty cool up y'all got my workout in hope you like that nerd stuff earlier i'm all about the nerd stuff that's really cool stuff got my fifth workout in this week feeling really good about that went back to the room hung out did a little more nerd stuff now i'm going for supper it's raining like crazy out here you know, I didn't get a whole lot of time to tour around Austin and see all the stuff. I'm not too worried about it, though, because I will be back. I got a car that'll get me here for free. So I think what I'll do at some point, it's on our list of things to do. We're going to drive all over the U.S. So we'll bring the uh, Tesla down and just explore at a more leisurely pace. But uh, that's not this week. So I'm going to go grab a bite to eat. I got to gas up the car because tomorrow morning I fly out super, super early. I think my flight is at 6 a.m., which means I got to get to the airport at least around 5, 5.15 at the latest. I'm going to shoot for probably 10 to 5 because I got to drop off the rental car and then get over to the terminals and all that stuff. And yeah, so it's going to be a super, super early morning, which means I got to get to bed earlier tonight if I can which I know won't happen, but I'm going to try. That's okay. I'll sleep another day. Well, I just got back. Dinner was awesome. It is pouring, pouring, pouring rain out there. I got gas and I went through the same experience I do every time I get gas in America. We really need to figure this out just for me and the two other Canadians that come here once in a while. It's the weirdest thing. You, you go to the gas pump, we put in our Canadian credit card and it asks for a postal code. It's the only time when I use a, a credit card here in the US that I get asked for a postal code. And of course I don't have a postal code in the US and so it just rejects it. So I gotta walk inside, do the prepay thing, walk back out, fill the car, walk inside, get the actual receipt, and in this case a refund put on the credit card, then I can, it's the weirdest thing. And it's not even secure. Like the, the other, I just went to dinner tonight and what they do for most meals is they take your credit card, you hand it to the person, they walk away and disappear with your credit card, which is like the best time if you're going to do anything with a credit card, write down the number, scan it, whatever, that's when you do it. And then they bring it back with the bill. It's weird. There is a better way, people of America. I'm here to help. Give me a call, ringy dingy. Okay, I've got to get ready. I've got to, uh, I mean, I don't have a lot of stuff to pack. That takes two minutes. 
I just have to get ready so that after I shower in the morning, I can zip out of here, get to the airport and make my flight on time because I want to see Tammy and the kids. Not a flight I want to miss. Yeah. All right. Good talking with you. Austin, it's been a slice. I'll be back. Micer out. Where they're rooting hard Tell them I'd be big in a game Like she went and got them breast implants I said I'm moving too fast